So now I'm just going to apply these and take an example, see how we're going to use it. F is positive, F is converging lens, F is negative diverging. Magnification, M is positive, upright. Magnification is negative, inverted. Image is positive, that means real image on the other side, the opposite side of the object. I is negative, that's virtual image, the same side as the object. And O is positive for real object, O is negative for virtual. Again, the virtual object becomes in handy or part of the problem when you're dealing with more than one lens. If you have two lenses, maybe I'll do one example before you leave today and show you. Let's take an example here. A lens, we're not sure what type of a lens, produces a real image. A real image. Now quickly, based on what we did early today, I can rule out one of the lenses. Is it a diverging lens or a converging lens? Well, let me look at my notes from a few minutes ago. Diverging lens always gives you what? Virtual image. So it's not a diverging lens. It's a converging lens. If it's converging lens, I can rule out the object between F and the lens. Why? This is shrunk. This is virtual image, right? This is a real image. So it looks to me it's going to be diverging lens, I mean converging lens, and the object beyond F. But if I didn't know that, no big deal. This is a real image. That was key here. That tells me it's converging lens. So now, what else we know? Twice as large. As the object. And located 15 centimeters from the lens. Produces a lens produces a real image that is twice as large, twice as large as the object. And located fifteen centimeters from the lens. Find the focal length of the lens and the object distance. Find F and O. The focal length and the object. So we know where the image is. A real image. Image is positive. 15 centimeters. Real is plus. If it's virtual, it's negative. The other thing they've given us, a real image twice as large, then you know your magnification. Your magnification is what? It's two. The magnification is negative I over O. So let's do the math and see. What does O has to be? A real image, twice as large. Now it doesn't tell me if it's inverted or not. Right? That part, I don't know. So it has to be an inverted here, negative 2. Because if you look at the scenario we have, When the object places outside F, the image is what? Inverted. Otherwise, it's going to make you 
all being negative. How can the object be negative if you're putting an object in front of a lens, a real object? One lens, it can't be negative. They're not saying that, so we have to read more into that. So my magnification rule is not a two, it's a negative two. It's inverse, but they didn't say that, so we have to look into the problem more. The real image, it's twice as big, because I know if it was between F and the lens, that image will be virtual. The fact it's a real image, I know it's not this. I know it's not this, because that's a virtual image. It's a real image, that means the object has to be to the left of F. Your image is always inverted. That's why sometimes the graph comes in handy. So minus 2 here is equal to negative i. i is what? 15 over o. And that lets me know o equals what? 7.5 centimeters. An object, a lens produces a real image twice as large as the object. So the object now is seven and a half centimeters from the image. So what is the focal length? We get the object, that's the first question. What is the focal length? One over I plus one over O equals one over F. I is what, 15? O is 7.5 equals one over F. The other thing, if you don't know that this was minus, by the way, and if you did the math, you end up with a negative number. When you do that, that tells you F is negative. If F is negative, that tells you what? What kind of a lens? Diverging? And there's no way F is negative because if it was a diverging lens again, that image will be virtual and it will be smaller. So lots of things telling us is actually a real image. One over 15. Yep, turn it on. One divided by 15 plus one divided by 7.5 is 0.2. F equals what, five centimeters. So the focal, it's actually Converging lens, we know that, with F equals 5. <coughs> I know it's converging just because it states we have a real image and it's enlarged. A real image has to be converging lens. Let me try another example. talk about glasses when you make glasses here uh, we have a converging lens <coughs> maybe not that one uh, converging lens here we go let's try this we'll do a converging maybe we'll do a diverging a converging lens with focal with F equals to, now that's a converging lens, F is positive, 10 centimeters. It forms an image of an object placed, 
So the object is placed, we'll do part O. Object is placed A at 30 centimeters. And we'll do B at, ooh, watch this. B at 10 centimeters. C at 5 centimeters. From the lens, find the image and describe the image. Find and describe the image. Of each case. So instead of actually doing three sheets of paper, I'll cut this paper into three parts. The tin is intriguing, actually. I'm interested in the tin here. Part A. Um, the focal point is positive 10, converging lens. The object is positive 30 centimeters, real object. And let's get the image. 1 over I plus 1 over O equals 1 over F. F is what, 10? Put 10 here. One over I equals what? One tenth minus one thirty. One divided by ten minus point oh six. I equals one over that number, which is fifteen centimeters. Positive. That means real image. Opposite side of lens. That's where the image showed up. Opposite side. <coughs> Is it bigger or smaller? What's the magnification? Negative I over O. Negative 15 over 30. Negative 0.5. Negative means what? Inverted. Larger or smaller? Reduced. 0.5. Half the size. I didn't have to graph it. This one is cool. This one, part B, the 10 centimeter. Get me excited there. Object is what? Plus 10. Where's the image? And do magic here. We're going to make something disappear. 1 over i plus 1 over 10 equals 1 over 10. 1 over i equals what? 0. The image going to be at infinity. You'll never see it. Disappear. No image. So if you put at the focal point, that elephant disappeared. If you do a magic show. No image. And the other part. Object is five centimeters. F is 10, image. <coughs> 1 over I plus 1 over 5 equals 1 over 10.
1 over that number, I get negative 10. Negative means what? Virtual image. What is virtual means? Same side. As object. Next to each other. Magnification. Negative I over O. 10 over 5. Plus 2. Plus 2 means in the upright. Larger. How much larger? Two times the size. Twice the size. So we can describe without having to graph it what will happen. The last one that we call the quit. And that is because I want to put two lenses. I talked about them. You could have two lenses. So I want to see what will happen. Definitely graph paper will be handy here. Two converging lenses, not just one. So basically what you're looking at, something like this. I'll try to put a picture for you so I don't have to write 10,000 things. And two converging lenses, like this. The focal point for the second one is 20. And f for this is 10, called 1 and 2. The distance between them is 20 here. And you put an object that's 30 centimeters away. find the magnification of the system. You put an object 30 centimeters in front of this one, and what's going to happen? So graph paper really comes in handy. Find the magnification. I don't have to graph it, but if I look at lens 1, Let's see where the image is going to be. 1 over i plus 1 over o equals 1 over f. The object where? 30. The image is what? 10. I mean the focal point is 10. We're looking for the image. One divided by ten minus one divided by thirty. Point oh six. What's I equal to? Fifteen. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be fifteen centimeters from this end. On that end is gonna be. That's where the image is going to be, the first one. The distance from here to here is going to be 15 centimeters now. We just calculated that. See it? Real one. So my magnification, the first magnification, is negative i over o. Negative. So that's negative i is what? 15. O is 30. And you can see it's half the size. And it's upside down. Now what's going to happen, this becomes the object now through that lens. This is a new object through that lens. So we're going to redo the math. So this is going to have, 
the parallel one. Here's the parallel. And it's going to go through the focal point, which is way down there. And the 1 through M is going to continue going through M. And you're going to have an image way right there. You can see it happening down there. But now for lens 2, where's the object placed? How far is this object from this lens? I don't care about that lens. From this lens. What is it? Five. Positive. It's in front of it. It's a real object. If this, if this image happens to be on this side, that becomes what? Negative object. Virtual object. So it's plus five. And f for the second lens, lens is what? 20. Can we find what i equals to? One over I plus one over O equals one over F. I is unknown. O is five. F is twenty. Actually, I'm wrong here. It looks like it's going to form right here, the image. Somewhere there, the image. You'll see that. They're not going to meet there because I'm not graphing to scale. 1 over i equals 1 over 20 minus 1 over 5. What's that number? 1 divided by 20 minus 1 divided by 5. And take 1 over that number. It's negative. Negative means the same side as the object. That's why the image is going to be here. The magnification, the second one, it's negative i over o. i is the 6.66, and o is what, 5? My magnification is positive 1.33. So this picture and this will be the same direction, and they are the same direction, it's positive. But if you look at the final image in relation to the beginning one, that's different. That's the final magnification, which is M1 times M2. What is M1? Negative 0.5. What's M2? 1.33. What's the final magnification? negative point six seven two-thirds of the real uh, upside down minus means inverted and this is two-thirds of the real object the height of it and I'm sure if we did this to scale we'll hit it on the money if I did that to scale <clears throat> and that's the last thing